What's going on, NPR people? It's your favorite intern here, intern number one, Lucas. And today is a most beautiful day for a few reasons. First off, it is really nice outside. Spring is officially here. Spring has sprung. There's some pretty birds right in front of me. But the other thing that's happening today is I am receiving a brand new animal from the one and only Mr. Derek Roddy. As you all know, Derek is very well known for having one of the most beautiful collections of black-headed pythons, Aspidites, Melanocephalus. Since we are kicking off this new MPR vlog uh, to help build our YouTube channel here, help build our presence, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and film that unboxing, show you guys this new snake, and uh, we're gonna get her all set up for quarantine. Now, Derek did warn me that this particular black-headed python is, in his words, a bit of a savage. So <laughs> there certainly is a chance that my unboxing might be a little, a little dicey, maybe a little bloody. We'll see how this goes. So I went ahead and got this cage ready in the kitchen. Uh, I'm in an apartment, so quarantine for me is the kitchen. It's as far away from my other animals as is possible. Uh, so we got this cage here. I just cleaned it out and sanitized it, got it hooked up, and we're going to quarantine this new snake. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a layer of paper towel and I'm going to treat it with a little bit of preventamite just as a preventative measure. Even if you have no reason to suspect that the animal you're getting would have anything on it, eh, it's always better safe than sorry. For those of you who are familiar with black-headed pythons, there is a distinct difference physiologically, morphologically, uh, between the eastern locality animals and those western animals, right? So what I'm really excited to welcome in today is one of Derek Roddy's uh, western black-headed pythons. Now this particular animal stems from the Gorgon line uh, of western black-headed pythons. And some of you may know that I recently picked up a male Western black-headed python, and that particular animal is uh, descended from Lazic and Gorgon Western stock. Um, so I'll be really excited here once I welcome this girl in, I should have a pair, 1.1, uh, of that Western type black-headed python. And she is a really nice animal. You guys will see when we get her out of the box. Make him way downtown. <laughs> Do this. It only seems right going to pick up a snake from Derek Roddy. I should listen to Derek Roddy. So we're going to play some Serpent's Rise up in here. <laughs> Very excited. You know, we've been talking a lot on Marlia Python Radio Network shows about kind of the increase in popularity uh, with the, the whole reptile hobby in the era of COVID. And it was pretty interesting talking to the, uh, the employee working the counter here at FedEx today. She said that the last year or so has been the most uh, live animal shipments she's ever seen. She said there's been way more uh, reptiles and amphibians coming through the hub. Just further evidence that a lot of new people are getting into our hobby and that's a good thing.
just kidding. You don't have to do all that shit. It's just a snake. Don't be ridiculous. Let's open the box. Come on, come on, come here. Don't look at that. Nobody docks me. All right. As you can see, it is a box. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything that I want in the quarantine enclosure in there so that I can just throw her in. I already treated the paper towel with some Preventamite spray just to be extra safe. Gonna leave the door open. Let's see what we got. Now Derek told me she tried to eat the pillowcase when he was putting her in it. Then again, when snakes are cold, like they often are after spending a night on an airplane, they're a little slower, maybe a little bit more reluctant to bite. So she might be on her best behavior because she doesn't have enough energy to be an asshole. Wow. Wow. Nice. Check that out. She is pretty cold. She's pretty cool to the touch. That is an absolutely gorgeous black-headed python. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her pattern. This is a Western black-headed python produced by Derek Roddy. Let me just get some nice close-ups of that pattern. I won't let you get bit, cameraman Tim. Don't you worry. It looks so much closer on the camera. <laughs> Just magnificent. You see, all that preparation was for nothing. Probably. <laughs> cool. All right, y'all, putting her away. Quarantine home. Oh. oh, there we go. That way. And she's got some warming up to do, so we're going to leave her alone. Well, everybody, thank you for joining me today for this unboxing of a beautiful black-headed python. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to check out all of the podcasts under the Morelia Python Radio Network umbrella. Uh, there's like more than 10 of them at this point, so I'm not going to try to list them all. Uh, but you can find out information about each and every one on MoreliaPythonRadio.net. Again, my name is Lucas. Uh, you can find me on all of my platforms at Centralian Exotics. And don't forget to support Morelia Python Radio on Patreon if you like what we are doing. Helps a ton. All right, thank you everybody. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.